Hi, Bass family, and welcome to Everything Bass with Dale Titus. I don't have a bass on today because I'm going to talk to you about um, a concept that I learned when I was t uh, st when I was a student at Musicians Institute that I wanted to pass on to you, especially if you're feeling like you've plateaued or you're having a hard time understanding uh, something you're studying. Um, let me give a little backstory first. When I was a student at Musicians Institute, they were giving us so much uh, information. I mean, we'd have seven classes a day, each one with different uh, material we had to practice. And of course, one of the big elements, sight reading, we had to keep working on because um, it was a quick moving program. And, and um, other things like, you know, learning to improvise a walking bass line, um, ear training, all these things started to pile up on me. And I'm very fortunate because I had a fantastic uh, private instructor. What up, Greg Weiss? But also, I had access to um, open counselings where you could go in between classes or um, in, in hours when you didn't have class, you could go and sit with instructors and ask them questions and they could help you get over any of these uh, hurdles. Um, after a couple months, I realized that every time I came to one of the uh, teachers or to a counselor and I expressed my uh, troubles, what I was struggling with, they gave me one of three answers. And I mean, these are people who had studied elsewhere, uh, they were people from all over the world, yet they all kind of gave me the same three answers to how I could get over these obstacles. Um, so I started teaching these. I started teaching these to students. And I, I believe they can help anyone. Um, so uh, if you uh, uh, are a Patreon subscriber, I did write out a little synopsis under each one uh, if you want to download it and have it available um, you know, so you can refer to it. But honestly, this one, uh, probably is not that important because I think you guys will grab the concepts pretty quickly. So it's called three answers. Three answers to whatever roadblock you're facing, whatever um, plateau you've reached, how to get beyond it. So the first one is practice every day. Let me give you an idea, uh, a kind of a context for this. So I was having troubles with certain reading elements. Um, I believe it was when I was studying reading, uh, we were doing uh, syncopated 16th notes. And I just wasn't feeling it. I wasn't able to execute it. Everyone else in the class seemed like they could do it, and I was really struggling. So as I went to teacher after teacher, they were saying, well, how much are you sight reading every day? Are you doing it every day? And I was like, well, that's interesting. You know, um, and honestly, because we had so much homework, sometimes sight reading was the thing I would push off. And so it was no surprise that that's one of the things that I was struggling with. In your own studies, if you're having trouble with an element, maybe um, you're wanting to progress through uh, some theory books that you bought uh, to understand music theories. Uh, are you studying it every day? And the reason why this is important is if you read like a chapter and, and do all the exercises and, and then you put the book away for a week or so, and then you go back to the book later, the, the, those concepts you were building on have kind of weakened and faded and you're, you're not as crisp on them. So, Whatever you're struggling with, I really recommend that you make that part of your daily practice routine. And one of the teachers was uh, really encouraging because he said, just 15 minutes a day, just 15 minutes do your sight reading. 15 minutes a day, he said, every day, sight reading something new on the elements that I'm struggling with will get me past it pretty quick. Better than doing an hour of sight reading one day and nothing the next day. So the consistent, um, consistency of studying something new every day is what's gonna get you over that part of the plateau. So that's one thing. So if you're struggling saying, oh man, Dale, I can't get some of those slap things you're showing me. Why well, are you doing it every day? Are you practicing it just a little bit every day so you can kind of get consistency, muscle memory uh, will, will stick and be easier to recall, things like that. So that's answer number one to how to get beyond uh, a sticking point in your progress. Number two, going too fast. So a lot of times I'd be saying, um, let, let's switch it up, not reading, let's do, when I was uh, learning to walk uh, improvised jazz bass lines. And I remember it was, I, yeah, it was Steve Bailey. I went to his open counseling and I said, hey, I, I'm just falling behind. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And so he had me work with him on it. He had me play through uh, some changes, but he didn't put a metronome on. He just said, here, walk a line to this. And I took off like a greyhound after a rabbit, man. I was trying to go really fast. And he's like, okay, wait, 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 slow down. If you can't execute something, trying to go so fast or trying to do it with a metronome is, is just more irritating, makes things harder. So he was the first guy that taught me the concept of just 
Don't put on a metronome. Don't worry about tempo. Just practice slowly. Really be able to think, be able to make adjustments. When you're learning something new, going too fast sometimes is discouraging and just makes the task way harder than it has to be. So uh, whatever element you're stuck on, ask yourself, am I trying to go too fast? And this is really for anything. Reading, um, if it's, uh, let's go back to the idea that you bought a theory book and you're studying music theory, but maybe you're just skimming the chapters. Maybe take a page, really read the page, look back at the key elements, commit it to memory, maybe pull out some manuscript paper and actually try to, you know, create your own exercises based on what's on that page. If you go that slowly, that's really getting a firm foundation. That's being able to make your footing really good, then take another step. Instead of just trying to go real quickly and all of a sudden you're in a chapter and you don't have an, any idea what's going on. So two of the possible answers to why you're stuck is you're not practicing every day and you're, you're not practicing that concept every day and you're going too fast when you do practice it. Lastly, review previous material. So, um, gosh, this applies to almost everything. Um, let's use the um, analogy of uh, ear training. Um, if you're trying to do um, identify seventh chords by ear, and it's just struggling, you're struggling, you're struggling, and you're not able to execute them, you're confusing, you know, and you're not even getting the basic qualities of major and minor uh, correct. That's a, that should be a red flag that, that you moved on too quickly. You need to go back and review triads, or maybe triads are too hard. You have to go back and repeat intervals and just learn to study intervals. Um, same thing with sight reading. I ultimately found out that the problems I was having with synth, synth, syncopated 16th notes, wow, wow, um, is that I was trying to, um, I, I didn't really have the firm foundation of like 16th note rests or 8th note rests ahead of it. So I went back a couple of units and work those up every day, practicing every day slowly, and then I was able to get by six syncopated 16th notes. So you have, you have to be real honest with yourself. You have to really um, be, like, be humble and go, okay, I'm stuck here. I've been stuck here for a while. I, I'm, I'm stuck on my um, you know, soloing over changes. Um, so run those three questions. Am I practicing every day? Maybe you are. And you're like, yeah, I am practicing every day, but I'm still stuck. But then you go, oh, am I practicing too fast? Uh, maybe so, maybe so. And then maybe you can go, well, maybe I should go back and do chord tone soloing to get my chord tones really down and then go back and try to do, you know, use modes and scales. So you can see how each one of these um, answers, you, can, you should be able to apply when you're stuck and figure out where, um, where the blockage is and, and get by it. Now let's say you're new to the instrument and you haven't been playing long enough to really get stuck. These are still three great concepts you can apply to your practice time. Practice every day. And you know, I say practice every day. I'm all for taking a day off. I really actually do. So maybe practice six days of the week. Um, but try to set up a practice routine, uh, work with your life schedule, try to find uh, some uninterrupted time that you can privately really focus and, and stick to it. Um, you set timers on your phone, whatever it takes to remind you, oh yeah, this is my practice time, and be dedicated to not let that go, oh, I'd rather still play this video game, and, and I'm not pointing fingers, I'm the biggest video game freak out there, so I have to continually tell myself, no, it's time to practice. Um, going too fast, make sure that when you're learning something new, it's a new concept, don't, tempo should not be part of it, just take metronomes out of the picture, don't try to play too fast, be patient, don't, and don't try to progress too fast. Don't, don't blow through some pages in a book you're studying just to get to the end of the chapter. Really value every page. I'd rather you um, master a page at one, on one practice day than you know, worry about when you're gonna get to the end of that chapter. And lastly, of course, uh, review previous material. Just review as a musician's best friend. Go back, review, and you can do that with these videos. Go back to the first one um, and, 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 and run through them all and see which ones you know very well, which ones maybe you've forgotten about or, or you, you, know, you didn't ever see. You know, sometimes review will show you ones that somehow just you skip. Okay, now today's encore item kind of fits the same thing uh, by Gary Willis. It's the book 101 Base Tips, Stuff All the Pros Know and Use. What a cool concept for a book. So it's not a book that says 101 bass exercises or 101 uses for arpeggios. It's just general, the big scope. You wanna be a pro player or you just wanna be a better player. Forget pro, you just wanna be a better player. 
there are so many cool ideas in this book. Um, I bought it because uh, I'm a big fan of Gary Willis's. I uh, studied with him when I was a student at MI, and I taught next to him on the staff uh, when I was a teacher there. And boy, I just got this book and dug into it, and there's so many cool things. It goes from gear ideas to technique ideas. It, it just a, a, a really wide variety of things you can actually work on. Uh, in, in really short, which similar to this video, uh, you, let me see if I can show a page. I know with the lighting it's a little weird, but um, sometimes it's just one part and something you can really grasp. Uh, I kind of did something cool that I can encourage you to do if you get the book. Just take one a day. And um, I did it in the morning. So when I was getting my morning going, breakfast, I would just look one and, and read it and kind of, you know, if it needed me, pick up the base and try some things to get it on my hands. But at least you know, I had a new concept to think about all day, and it really made me, um, it really progressed me to another level as a player. So this is widely available. You can get it pretty much anywhere it sells music books. Um, it's a Hal Leonard publication, so if your local music store carries Hal Leonard sheet music, they can order it for you. So, um, 101 Bass Tips, the perfect partner to go along with three answers. I hope today helped. Um, nothing's more frustrating when you're trying to be better as a bass player uh, than getting stuck. And so I hope to taking a moment to talk about these concepts which could hopefully unblock uh, the pathway and get you on to the next level um, will really help you and you'll find value in it. So please hit the like, tap the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and make sure you ring the bell notification so you'll know anytime I post anything online. And uh, if you love the channel and you want to have access to all the support materials, please um, consider subscribing to this channel by going to patreon.com forward slash everything base. I am so thankful you guys are checking these videos out. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the emails. Again, if you have any questions, you have something that you want to deal one on one with me, definitely email me at dtitus at daletitus.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day, guys.